going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Remember as we're going through the show and the program, listen, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. Won't you be one that God touches today in a mighty way and gives you your breakthrough? And you know, a lot of times people think, oh, you know, we say Christianity because breakthrough because there is a God of the breakthrough in the Bible. And the thing is, and it says that specifically, but you may not be a Christian today, and you may think, what are they talking about? Well, we're saying that if you call those prayer lines, God will help you through your situation, and he will make it right, and he will bless you. So if you're one that really needs prayer today, call those prayer lines. You are anonymous. Anonymous. We'll never solicit you. We don't know who you are, so it's a safe place, okay? Signs, wonders, and miracles taking place on those prayer lines. Be one of them today, okay? Oh, man, we're going to get right into the uh, program. I have a, a great friend sitting next to me, which we will introduce. Uh, but first of all, if you were clicking through that channel, had that remote in your hand, and goes, whoa, whoa, i never seen you. I hear it all the time on our prayer lines. And they stopped. And now some of them have Bible studies with us every week. I had a pastor call and say, I want you to do a school for all three of my churches. I said, I got a TV show, not a school. But anyways, that's what God does. So if he, if you were clicking through the channels, please listen to me. It was no accident. I'm not just saying this to say it. God's got something for you. Stay right there. We're God's view. God does have a view and God does have a view personally for you. Yeah. Charlene, back to Mary, your God's view host. We have Priscilla Pruitt, Stephanie Besh, Lana Gardner, and won't you help us welcome our very special guest today, my friend, Angela Meredith. And we're going to be talking about Angela starting her um, network. She has Woman's Whole Worth Network that God's view airs on. And she's an amazing woman of God. And I really want her to encourage you today as we talk that, that you may be one God's calling into media. And I'm sure Angela will be talking about that. And don't you give up and don't you back down and don't you let the devil lie to you and say, oh, no, no, you know, this is not God. And because you may be called to start a network like he called Angela to Woman's Whole Worth Network on taking network and we'll we'll explain a little bit of that but thank you angela yeah, for being you, with Charlie. us gosh so, i love y'all i love you all you're just so wonderful you. you bless so many people they really god's view is amazing and their heart truly is for the lord and for each and every one of you i just you can i cannot express that enough and how blessed that the women's whole work network is to have you all on our our network and taking TV as well. Yeah. So, so TV, which will be yes. So you know, Angela, the God call. Oh, look at I'm so used yeah, to a cordless mic. Right, and you know what? One thing I didn't say because I know you're thinking. If you, we have a lot of viewers, and you're thinking, what is God's view doing today? We're at the NRB Live at uh, Na uh, National Religious Broadcasters. We come every year, and this is 2024. And so we're doing shows here. Taken Network is filming, and Women's Whole Worth Network, yes. and they are doing this. And so, um, oh, anyways. We are at NRB, and we're so glad to be coming into your home. And make sure don't change the channel. We got some great stuff. Okay, Angela, now we can go. There okay. you go. Yes. So you had mentioned about how that maybe a woman might want to get involved yes. in, in, in media yes. ministry. And, and, you know, and you may not even know it because you may already have a women's ministry or you're participating in your women's ministry at church. But I want to tell you, I did, was doing the same and I was doing Bible studies throughout churches. And then one evening during my time with the Lord, he placed upon my heart that I was to have a Christian women's streaming channel. And he gave me information, outline after outline. I held on to that because I knew it to be true from the Lord, but I didn't know what to do with it. I had no clue. And then a couple of months later, I get a phone call 
and it was Mary Faye Jackson, and she had family friendly uh, TV. Wow. And she needed somebody to help her at a particular media conference and asked me if I would God mind moves. to help her. And so I said, that would, no, no problem. I do not mind helping. And God said, take this with you. Take what I gave you, take it with you to that. So I took it. And I showed it to the uh, Tim Shields, actually, who was. I showed it to Tim. And he said, Angela, who helped you with this? The way it's all formatted. Somebody in the industry has to know. You had to, who, who was, you know, he wanted to know who's worked with me. I said, Tim, no one. This is how God gave it to me. This is the format he gave it. He said, there's no way that he could have known. I could have known about breaks and things like that that you have during filming and media and things like that. But God had shown me what he wanted. Yes. But that, he said, hold on to that, Angela. It's divinely given. Hold on to it. I did, because that's all that happened. At that event, that's all that happened. Two events later, same event. I, uh, I felt like I wasn't going to be able to attend, so I didn't do anything. I get an artist that calls that I help on occasion, and she says, Angela, I have submitted my entry, and I don't know what to do with this at this particular media conference. And I said, well, uh, I don't know what to tell you. She says, are you going? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not going. Just, well, I guess I just lost X amount of dollars, and I'm just, I'm like, no, 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 wait. I'm going to pray about it. So I prayed about it, and God said to call Tim. So I called Tim, and I said, Tim, look, I have an artist, and she was says, I didn't have an opportunity. It's like a, like a few days away. He goes, would you mind volunteering? And I said, no, I don't mind volunteering. I'll volunteer. So I went, volunteered, and we the first day we went, and I was showing the artist around and showing her everything. Lunchtime, she decides, Angela, this is not for me. I don't know why I'm even here. And I'm like, what? So I had blocked off all the ministry stuff for a whole week. And I'm like, now I'm committed because I committed to them to volunteer and I'm gonna stay true to my word. And so I'm driving home, I'm like, God, what, what is this about? And then I feel in my spirit, you yeah. need to tell everybody about the Christian Women Streaming Channel. And as I'm driving, I'm thinking, okay, now, God, was that you or was that my own agenda? Yeah. Was that, but you're going to have to give me a sign. Was that you or was that my own agenda? Well, didn't tell anybody else about that conversation. Not my husband, not anyone went home because I was exhausted, of course. You know, all these conferences. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, get home. And then at about 4.45 the next morning, my phone is ringing. I am a little panicked because usually that's some immediate news that's important, usually a family member or something like that. And it was the artist. And she says, Angela, I have been up all night and I can't stay awake any longer. And God told me to tell you, to tell everybody about your ministry, your network. I don't know. Put your cards in the women's bathroom. Do something. But I, and she's like, I got to go to sleep. Confirmation, right? Amazing. Now I had a question about that. From the time that God gave you that dream and that instruction into the fruition, how long in between? I would say that it was uh, probably about three months. Probably about three months. Quick. Yeah. That's unheard yeah, of. Like yeah. that is God expediting it. Yes. Yes. And I'm glad that you asked for confirmation because that's important. And that's actually yeah. biblical. Because we well because yeah. we you because we all have desires. Uh, and God knows that and he loves the desires, but they don't always align with what he wants. And what's kingdom. really important what you're saying is you were just going along loving God and loving yeah. people. You were in another ministry, another world, and, and God comes in. And he interrupts our lives and our All agendas. Right. And it wasn't like her heart was just on her own yeah. agenda. But as you see, you know, just like me, it was a surprise that I built a TV network. <laughs> it was a surprise. And God just does that, you know. And then here we are years later. I've been in TV over 30 years, but this show's 17, God's View. And <clears throat> God may be calling you as well. This story is powerful for you. Right. Well, so I got, so I know I'm going back, right? And I'm going to assist. At the, and I was helping during the lunchtime. 
and I don't, as you can see, there's a lot of activity going around. There's not a lot of quiet. So God told me I'm supposed to tell everybody. Everyone. I said, yeah. so I'm going. I said, God, you told me I'm supposed to tell everybody. How are you going to make it quiet? How am I going to tell everybody in one form that, as, that what you told me to tell about the Christian Streaming Women's Channel? Right. So I get done helping in the lunch area. I'm sitting in the back. Tim is uh, addressing everybody. They do a tour of their studios and things like that. Somebody came up and approached them, and it got very, it got very quiet. Oh. And was I sitting in the back, God literally pulled, it felt like a string at the top of my head, pulled me out of my seat, and I knew, yeah. I had to say, I said, Tim, excuse me, can I speak for a moment? And he was like, eyes real big, and blessed him for being obedient, and said, yes, Angela, go ahead, you may say something. So I said, hello, my name's Angela Meredith. I'm with Women's Whole Worth Ministry, and God has put it on my heart to do a Christian women streaming channel. And I kept talking, but I don't know what I said. <laughs> and in the background, in the background, I could see, because she was up there, BJ Arnett was crying. Everybody was clapping their hands and praising God, and I was talking, but I couldn't understand why, and even men were excited. Why are they so excited that and saying that we need this? I thought a Christian women stream each other, they really need this. Okay. So I then I remember closing saying if you would like to uh you know uh, be a part or whatever, you can come see me afterwards. Well everybody came up and still tired praising God. You know why they were clapping? Because God's been speaking this to all of us. She had a vision that for 2024, God is rising up the Marys. We just got a word yeah, that the Esthers, we have the right. Esther anointing and that God is rising up that Esther yeah. anointing yeah. in us. It's because it's for such a time as this. Yes. Everyone, wow. it was confirmed in their hearts and that's why they were smiling. That's why they were yeah. clapping. Amen. And Angela, uh, <clears throat> this could go right into, um, and I always put across the bottom of the screen our guest information. So can you tell them, like maybe somebody wants to talk to you or maybe you can pray for them or bless them. But we just need information of where they can get a hold of you. Maybe oh, somebody sure. wants to come on Women's Whole Worth Network. Oh, yeah, yeah, awesome. We would love to. Thank and you. and so where you would go to is you go to www.womenswholeworth.com. Uh, That's the website. There's information there. Or you can go and email us at womenswholeworthministry at yahoo.com. You can also call us at 940-327-9810, and you can leave a text message or anything like that. Or uh, if no one answers, just leave a message, and we'll be more than happy to get back with you and answer any questions you may have. And we would just be a blessing to have you reach out to us. We got something on it. Looks like we got something. Well, I, no, I was just thinking about how we got the prophecy of the eagles, the eagles who gathered. Yeah, that's yeah. what's happening yeah. now. Um, it's yeah. Yeah. so exciting for you. Yes, and, and it is. You Next. know, I have a question, and you, you shared how God just dropped it in your spirit, and then three months later, just like that, but I could hear people saying, what about the time in between, or, or the time getting to that point? Like, did you feel growing up, or at any time in life, like, I feel like God is calling me into something. I just don't know what it is. Or did you ever have that desire? Because sometimes yes. I think we go through life and we don't realize yes. that there's a vision on the inside of us or a dream. And I felt like many were thinking to themselves, I don't even know because nobody has ever spoken to me before that I could be something. Yeah. I could do something for the Lord. Or could he use me because of my past? And so... So what was the process of that so, to that point? So Women's Whole Worth Ministry was birthed out of the time process when my mother was passing. My mother had a heart for the Lord. She and Gloria Copeland she had, had her, uh, her Bible studies and all that, and they would work together and stuff. My, my dad was Gloria's uh, hairstylist. And so we, and I, that's how I got saved. I got saved through Kenneth and Gloria Copeland sending all the information in my living room. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, but what I was gonna tell you was, is that, so uh, my mom, she, uh, uh, she passed away during having a procedure, bronchoscopy that she had done. And it's, it's not abnormal, I mean, you do that, you don't let you do DNR. She came back 
And she told me, Angela, I spoke with Jesus. And there's some things that he told me that I'm gonna tell you now. And there's some things that he spoke oh. to me that I cannot share with you. But the desire of my heart, because she had wanted to do women's ministry and kept telling me about it before she got diagnosed. With, with, and I'd only had her for six months after that. But so anyway, so from that, I knew in my spirit, well, I was moving my son, the youngest, from uh, going, he's the time for him to get out of the nest and go on and do his, uh, he's a financial advisor now. But you know, I was moving him and God had spoken to my heart during the quiet time that it's time, you need to do the Bible study. Well, I, I shared that with my son and he goes, mom, I, I can see that. And we came back to meet with my husband and I thought, you know, I better share with my husband that I'm gonna be doing this Bible study because I don't know where God could take it because conferences, things yeah. like that. It's like, bye honey, I'm leaving for a conference I'm having. You'd be like, what? <laughs> so we were sitting at dinner and I told him, I said, you know, and this is God's giving, a, affirming everything. I said, you know, I think for the music part of it, because I can see those conferences, I'm going to have my friend Heather Thomas Van Deren. This is just an award-winning Christian gospel, country gospel singer. And he goes, yeah, I can see Heather being that. I said, no, I know. Well, Heather and I hadn't talked in like a year. And as I am packing up what the little leftovers for me to go, I hear something i look up it's heather it's heather and her husband i hadn't met yet and i looked up and i said heather and she looked up and she came to my side and this is actually what she said whatever god has called you to do i'm going to do it with you and we haven't spoken we had not spoken in almost two years but just because of life you know we're still good friends yeah. and everything and, and and the powerful thing about that every step of the way god was training her like yeah ordaining every step because I, I say this over and over every one of our days was ordained and written in his book yes. before one come to pass in other words god mapped it out you just walk it out honey and so angela in her story be encouraged because you may be right here nothing's happening and god speak to you and bam and then right. now she's woman's whole worth network be encouraged today is what yes. we're saying. That's what God's View TV show is about. To encourage you to be all God died for you to be. Truly, God, God wants to give you the desires of your heart. Yes. He wants that. So what the Bible says, you have not because you ask not. Ask and it will be done for you. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I think what's very important about what you guys are talking about is really taking that first step of faith on the water. Like it's yeah, scary. Yeah. You're like, how are you going to do this, God? But I'm going to trust you and keep my eyes on you. And when you do that, God does the rest. He just yes. takes over. That's and that's right. what you did. That's yeah. right. And when, and when you're in the waiting period, don't, don't get discouraged. You find where God is and you serve him. And during that time of servitude, Amen. he is orchestrating everything. So like myself, he just, he just propelled it fast forward something I could have never imagined. And he's still doing that today because of the good, good God And you is. said the most important thing was in that waiting, you serve him. Yes. You serve him, you do whatever you can. Because I tell you, you're, when you're in transition, you, you leave this place, you're in you haven't arrived here. Yes. So you're like, God, what? How come? When? What's, what's going on? But it's because you're in transition. But in transition, you serve him. In transition, you love God and love people. And he is bringing you to the place that you need to be. Yes, exactly, Charlene. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, he, then he brought me here with you. And I just cannot tell you how much you mean to me. Oh, don't make me cry. Don't cry. But you mean so much. Our talks that we've had, the inspirations that you've given to me. It's just such a blessing. That's a, that's a blessing. And you've done that not only with me, but so many and that's others. that's a way to serve. It's to yes. sow into someone. So yes. That's what I was going to say. That, this is what it should look like. Yeah. This is what oh, it no, should look like. We need to be yes. for one another. We need to cheer one another on. Thank the you, body Jesus of Christ, this is who Jesus is. Yes. He loves us so right much there. that he brings he us together for such a time as this. And then he draws our hearts together where we that's cheer one another on. 
We are for one another. Yes. And what yes. you just experienced, that if you are in ministry or you are in uh, the marketplace and, and doing ministry um, and people are so against you or they're jealous and there's competition, that's not Christ-like. That's not who Jesus is. He, he is for every single one of us, and he's no respecter of persons. He loves everybody the same. And when you see unity like this, that's where the presence of God and the glory of God comes. And so this was a perfect example of what God is doing. Bless your mother, such yes. a holy perfect. woman of God. You have her anointing now, yes. double anointing. Amen. Oh, and I just wanted to say, don't overcomplicate it. It yeah. could be something simple. As God, if yes. God is rising up this this woman's uh, TV show or something, and you're like, God, I don't know how, and you have no idea what to do, well, find a place to serve in that department. Yeah, We're always like needing said. camera we women. We're always needing people to help us out. Yeah. Trust me, if you are having this this dream being built up, and God is brewing it inside of your spirit. There is a way to serve and just ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what can I do to make this happen? How can I get my foot out in the water and trust you? And he will open the door. Yeah. And the one thing, your heart's got to be right, prostrate before God. You yes. can't go and say, I just want to be on TV to be on TV. You go on TV because you love God, you love people, and you're getting that audience to help that next person. It's a humble heart. You you are always prostrate before heaven and saying, create in me a pure heart, renew a right spirit within me. And God, I want to help your people be everything you died for them to be and I want to say this don't ever think that what you're doing or is not enough it doesn't matter and this is a word from the Lord that he gave to me just just uh, about a month ago because I, I felt like I wasn't doing enough I felt like I could do more and God stopped me he said Angela yeah. it takes but one drop of rain to activate a seed That's right. and that is so true so just that one effort, that one that one cry out to God, and He will give you that desire. He will, and, and, and the ability. Do you know one thing that you said about just the one drop of rain? And, and we're encouraging you right now. You know, I had this series of all of these horrible things happening, okay? And in my, you know, how we all have seasons, but when you're in a wilderness season, let me tell you, encourage you, God's not taking something from you. He's getting something to you. Okay, so I'm in this wilderness season. All these things are happening. And then all of a sudden I get this big drop right here on my forehead out of, out of my I got a big high ceiling in my house and I go oh great now it's my roof's leaking and right away God said no it's beginning to rain there was no leak there was nothing it was beginning to rain you know and, yeah. and you might be yeah. saying I can't do this I'm not capable of doing this I I don't have it but God is saying you don't but I do yeah. and I'm raising you up yeah and just trust me. That's right. Amen. So what else do you have to say? I don't know how long we have because I, I always I have a either. clock there. But but is there anything really important? And I want you to give them a website again. Well, what the main thing for Women's Whole Words Ministry, the whole thing that it was developed for, was for the women to understand their worth within the kingdom, within themselves, within your community, because you are worth more than all the gyms on this earth. God's love for you is never ending, and he has an abundant life for you, and he wants you to live it to your fullest. So we just, at Women's Whole Worth Ministry, we just invite you to just reach out to us, however that looks, and we just want to be accommodating so we can bless you. That's and right. if you want to, again, you can reach us at Women's Holworth Ministry at Yahoo uh, at yahoo.com or it's a 940-327-9810. That's so good. That's Amen. And I was just going to say that um, as we were sitting here, too, I just heard people say, but how do I start? And we have people ask us that. Like, oh, how did you start? Good. And for me and all of us it's just seeking the lord seek seek the lord and he will be found and and what i love too is that i volunteered for years we've all volunteered for years i i do the same i do the same but i but that's what it was and i and you just go along seeking the lord and he opens the doors that yeah. no man There's can shut. Body. And so it, it she, sounds so simple, well, but it's true. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's but that, Matthew 633. Yeah. It's seek first the kingdom of heaven and his right yeah. way of doing things, his yeah. righteousness. And all of all these of things will be added. But, right. the, but the biggest thing to tie in with this is Angela has told you all that we have just said. 
You serve while you're waiting. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. bottom line. You said that's and, serve while you're waiting. And that's something, too, on the volunteer page. If you would like to volunteer, you don't have to be. We are around the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas, but you don't need to be there. The God has blessed us with the ability to be virtual everywhere. So if you would like to volunteer, yeah. just go to the website. Uh, that's www.womenswholework.com. Uh, .com and and click on the volunteer button. That's Get in touch with us there. We'd love to have you volunteer with, with us. That's wonderful. And it, it's a it's a wonderful network, Women's Whole Worth Network. And you can go watch God's View on that network and take in TV. And it, it's just, you know, God is raising up networks for such a time as this with unknown voices, people with authentic hearts. And uh, you, may, you may be one of those because in, in this hour, power is going to come with purity, purity with power, because he's done with all of the uh, false. He's separating the false from the authentic, and he's bringing up authentic hearts and voices to speak through media because there's a lost and dying world, and he needs to get his salvation message out that he died for you and he loves you. And um, uh, he held up for news, but I don't think that's what, that's what uh, he left. Well, I, Charlene, I, like I said, the message that you get out every week on the Women's uh, Whole Work Network, on Taken TV, is reaching so many. And I do get responses on how you bless everyone, that you and, and the other programs that are on there. And I, also, too, if you're watching this and you do have a content, you do have a women's program or you have a women's podcast, we're adding a podcast channel. So again, just contact us at the places that are on the website. You can get in touch with us there or the numbers I've given you. So we just welcome um, everyone and our viewers and just want to say thank you and just keep praying for us and praying for God's view too. Well, I tell you what, I'm grateful that Angela uh, joined us today because I believe what she said. See. There's no accident. Everything's a divine connection, divine right. intervention, and divine timing from God. Right. This was divine timing that my dear friend came on to encourage you because I know we reach billions now, and you could be in China right now. You could be in India. You could be at, on the beach on Trinidad Tobago because we've aired there for years watching on an iPad. And listen, this encouraged you today because God has been calling you. You have not known what to do. And now you just listen, you know, it's him. All you got to do is say yes. Just say yes, God, and he'll he'll do it. OK, just don't be afraid.